Trotsky get along with Lenin? Was this a partnership, one played off the other? Was this a competitive relationship? Well, Trotsky uh, felt very inspired by Lenin when he first read uh, and was reading Lenin's uh, newspaper, Iskra, The Spark, when he was in Siberian exile. He liked the idea that Lenin was um, promoting that you needed to develop a party of professional revolutionaries to challenge the czarist regime. They would work underground, they would work in clandestine manner to underground, to undermine the regime. And Trotsky felt inspired by that and felt a similar way. So he was in touch with this network of editors and followers of Iskra. They were the very much the um, a core part of the Bolshevik party, Bolshevik activists. So when Stalin fled Siberian exile in the summer of 1902, abandoning his wife and their two very young daughters, it was to go to Europe and meet, and meet Lenin. He thought Lenin was in Zurich, but in the meantime, Lenin moved to London in England. And Trotsky was able to smuggle himself out of Siberia, out of Russia. He made it to Vienna. He met with, with comrades there. They gave him the resources he needed to continue his way across Europe and come to London. It's really an incredible story. You know, he didn't need a passport. He didn't need visas. Um, here he was this convinced revolutionary, just making his way from one country to another, no one stopping him, no one asking for his papers. And of course, he used the fake identity papers. He adopted the name Trotsky from one of his jailers in Odessa. His name, we shouldn't, we didn't mention this. His real name was David uh, Bronstein, Lev Davidovich Bronstein, Lev the son of David Bronstein. Anyone named Brownstein or Bronstein today may well be related to Trotsky. There are many, many uncles and cousins and a broad family. So he met with Lenin, was very taken with Lenin. Lenin was, a, was a, in, a, impressed by Trotsky. He was this much younger man, brilliant writer activist. So they worked together in what became Bolshevik circles, but then Trotsky was became soured on Lenin at the 1903 Party Congress, where he had initially supported Lenin in an outspoken way against the Bund and against more moderate figures that became the Mensheviks. So over the course of the next decade, he had a running arguments with Lenin about policies regarding the Tsar, uh, regarding the Duma, regarding the organization of the party. Trotsky has this brilliant, brilliant analysis of one of the problems with Leninism, which is that first you have the party, then you end up with a dictatorship. And he foresaw what would happen already in 1904, 1905. He has this very prescient um, set of beliefs. You start with the party, then you end up with one figure, and you end up with a dictatorship. And uh, that was a remarkable statement that he made. But they reconciled in the spring and summer of 1917 when they saw the possibility for revolution in uh, Petersburg, in Petrograd, in Russia, under the provisional government the Tsar had already abdicated. I think we need to remind our listeners that the Bolsheviks did not take power from the Tsar. They took power by overthrowing the provisional government, which was a democratic government. 